It's Lamar Jackson. Now it's Justin Herbert, and we welcome Lee J. Doosable, CBS Sports NFL analyst, longtime NFL player. First things first, Lee J., when you saw the numbers and you saw the deal, your reaction was what? So excited for my man Jay Herbo, Justin Herbert. I mean, Russ, if you were to put a picture in the dictionary about what a quarterback potentially looks like, a prototypical quarterback, there would be a picture of Justin Herbert. I mean, six foot six, 240 pounds, and a right arm that was blessed by God. I mean, no quarterback in NFL history has thrown for more passing yards in their first three seasons than Justin Herbert. And he's number two on the all-time list in the first three seasons on throwing touchdowns behind the great Dan Marino. You're talking about a guy that is so gutsy, plays with so much grit. Let's take it back to last season. In week two versus Chiefs, he ends up getting hit in his midsection, right? Has the rib cartilage fracture and guts it through and helps lead, lead the Chargers to the playoffs without his starting left tackle, who was a pro bowler, without his starting receiver, Keenan Allen, for most of the season, who's a pro bowler, without his big tall receiver on the outside, Mike Williams, who has pro bowl potential. Justin Herbert was able to uplift his team with the third, fourth, and fifth receiver. That shows you what type of quarterback this guy was. It was only a matter of time before he got paid. And Russ, this guy is only 25 years old, so the best is still yet to come for Justin Herbert. And Justin Herbert, as you mentioned, has put up monster numbers in his first three seasons in the league, yet the Chargers are still a 500 team since he's been the starter. They haven't won a playoff game, 0 for 1 in playoff games. Where does the pressure lie now? Because Herbert's getting paid regardless. Yeah, I think it falls on Justin Herbert, obviously, with this new deal, but also head coach Brandon Staley. I mean, everybody knows he's an aggressive coach, likes to go for it a lot of times on fourth down. He's an analytic-based guy. Start, instead of kicking field goals, he'll go for it on fourth down. And last year at times, I felt like they kind of handcuffed Justin Herbert. I mean, with their offensive coordinator, Joe Lombardi, he was dinking and dunking, not really able to throw the ball down the field. One, because they had receivers that were hurt. And two, they didn't really have a speed element on the outside, right? Now they brought in Quentin Johnson, Jalen Guyton, who is their speed element on the outside. We know what Kellen Moore can do as an offensive coordinator. Had one of the most explosive offenses in football with the Dallas Cowboys. Now he brings his talent to Justin Herbert. I can't wait, Russ, to see the fireworks these two put together. Now with the speed element. And if you're healthy, I mean, if your receivers can stay healthy, who knows what type of numbers the Chargers will put up on offense this year. Yeah, and again, there come the numbers. But, Lige, what are your expectations for the Chargers this season? Yeah, it's always tough when you're in a division with the greatest quarterback we've seen recently, right? And Patrick Mahomes, a guy that has been to two, one, two out of the last four Super Bowls, been to three out of the last four. So it's almost like you're always in second fiddle when you're playing the Kansas City Chiefs and they're in your division. But if you look at when Justin Herbert plays the Chiefs, right? They usually split those games. Those games always come down to the wire, always a one score game, which you're hoping if you're the Chargers, right? You want to win twice, but you want to get at bare minimum a split, right? And if you can't win a division, you want to be in the position you were in last year when you traveled down to Jacksonville and were up big, got a lot of turnovers in the first half. It's all about finishing the game now. I think they got too timid, didn't run the ball enough in that second half versus Jacksonville Jaguars. Now with Kellen Moore in the helm, I look for this offense to take a major step and be able to finish some of those games that they weren't able to last year. I don't know that Justin Herbert signs a five-year extension with the L.A. Chargers. We want to thank Lee J. Doosable, our NFL analyst, for all his knowledge. Lee J., thanks so much. We'll be seeing you again soon, I'm sure. Here's the Vegas outlook for the Chargers for the upcoming 2023 season. Their total is set at 9.5 going in. They're plus 340 to win the division, plus 1,300 to win the conference and plus 2,500 to win the whole thing.